Hello and welcome to Technology Simplicity YouTube channel. My name is Jay Chong. Today I'm going to share with you how to actually white label your WordPress to look like not WordPress. Of course, for, to impress a client, most of the time we actually show them, you know, from the login page, from the footer on the back end, as well as change a little bit of the back end to looks like it's not a WordPress. Or perhaps you show your client, you actually put up the effort to make sure they have a much more better experience in managing their own website. So let me show you how to do it free. And actually, yeah, that's the thing. It's free. Let's go. Okay, I'm not joking. Okay, it's really free for tools developer out there. You can look for the plugin. It's called Brenda. Okay, how to do it? Let me show you right away. Okay, go to your Google Chrome or any browser. You just type Brenda WPMU. Okay, once you search it, of course, there are pretty much a lot of links. And I'm talking about 100% free. Okay, which you can get from um, WordPress by possibility here. Okay, it's called Brenda. Um, it's saying that it's most complete white label plugin. Okay, of course, um, yeah, I myself have been using it for quite a number of my website, so pretty much it's good. So let's go to your website back end. Of course, you know how to actually install a new plugin. Okay, just look for Brenda. Then after you install it, you just activate it again, give it some time. Okay, really depends on your hosting power. So if you need a much more hosting power, I personally will recommend Jaguar Cloud, which my company actually provided for you. Okay, after you uh, activated that guy, okay, just go to the Brenda, okay, go to the dashboard. There are quite a number of modules that you can do uh, to actually customize your stuff. For example, I customize my admin footer. If you look carefully, my admin footer have this. Yeah, you must be wondering, yeah, my ordinary website is WordPress, you know, what kind of version and so on. So you can actually do that. That's number one. How to do that actually is very simple. You just look for um, the module under admin area, look for the admin footer and you just click edit the module. And of course, it actually allows you to activate and deactivate. Okay, as simple as that. And you just put in the footer that you want. Okay, you can put in text form, you know, the HTML format, or you can put in the visual format. It's really up to you. That's it. Very simple, right? Okay. On the other hand, you know, most of the time when you actually log in your um your WordPress website, okay, let me show you. Uh, this is the ordinary one, right? Which is you see the WordPress logo and as well as you will see uh you know this is the default one, correct? Okay, how are you gonna customize this screen so that all your client when you hand over to them you, know, you want to impress them in such a way, right? Okay, the easiest way is go to this guy. Um this is called uh if I know mistaken, is under let me go back to the dashboard of the brander. Okay, look for this one, it's called login screen. Yeah, it's called front end here and go for this customize the login screen so I'm going to edit module okay it's very simple you just activate it and there are quite a number of templates you can choose from then you can actually just change a little bit in terms of um, you know the picture for example I want to immediately change to this guy okay let me choose the template one more time I'm going to choose this abstract tag okay continue did I click it? Yep. It's that simple actually. If you do want to do anything else, you just want to stick with it. Okay, save changes and go to the WP admin and you refresh. I'm sure you can see the changes in the short while. Ta-da! Okay, if you want to change the logo, of course you can always change uh to you know do something else. Um the logo is not here, the color customers. It's really up to you how you want to change it. For example, the logo I want to change to you know something else. Is yeah, just upload your own thing. Okay, you can even change your own uh, image file <laughs> if you want. Yeah, this is just for example. Um, 
then I'm going to refresh it then you shall see the logo it changed right away this is very very simple okay so besides this there are many more for example the sign up screen the header the footer um, the header actually here is means the front and so we do you want to touch that right okay perhaps you want to go for admin area there are a few more things that I want to share with you for example the admin bar okay admin bar here you can see there's a WordPress on the left top right okay if you want to change the bar here you can activate this guy again you can reorder the menu items as well as change you know stuff like that for example I want to change the logo okay again I'm going to use my own picture <laughs> this is just an example okay and I can actually rearrange the menu items and so on okay for now I just want to change the logo first okay I don't want to touch so much let you see a little bit the difference do you see this guy oops let me show you one more time here yeah. the logo has been changed okay and of course there are many things else uh, for example I want to hide or I want to add something else in terms of menu item it's up to you how you want to customize the bar okay besides that admin menu as well you can customize the admin menu for example you want to hide a certain uh, plugins from your client you can actually do that Okay, besides that, you want to share an admin message, for example, um, um, you just want to say, uh, if you need help, please contact us. Yeah, I know this is, this is nonsense, this is no meaning, but I just want to show you, this can be done, it's like an announcement, so that every time other admins, for example, a client uh, come in, they will see this. Okay. Besides that, you know the help content as well, you can actually customize what kind of help content you want to inject in. For example, you already document your own uh your own uh for example this is uh Jagule knowledge ping. Click here. Ah this is just for example. Uh. Okay, let's say I'm insert link or anything else uh, at and save changes. So you shall see the even the help content can be done. For example, here you see this guy. Okay, let's say you go to post. Uh, you want to see the help also being updated. See here, here. See this help. This is something I added. And there are many, many, many other modules uh, being introduced in Brenda. Okay and if i'm not mistaken there are 28 modules okay i already introduced you five modules just now i, I hope i've been i mean so far so good right okay the dashboard widget the feeds you can actually input your own feeds so that all your clients websites when they log into the dashboard they can actually get your feeds rather than other feeds okay the email actually how you want to customize it um the images, the size, the generator, or even you want to text and replace the whole website. For example, every single word of WordPress when you change it to your company. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> Apology. Okay, if you want to change your company brands or something like that, yes, it can be done in that way. This is the front end, and yeah, basically, there are a lot of modules that you can customize, and like I said, one more time is 100% free so I already shared with you how to use a simple plugin called Brenda okay which is developed by WPMU Dev thanks to them you now you can white label your whole WordPress website like a pro and most importantly is free okay thank you so much for watching if you found this video is useful for yourself please do me a favor put a like on this video as well as subscribe to my channel and put a ring so that you will get notified whenever i upload such a cool video for you thank you so much for watching once again my name is jay chong and hope um stay home stay safe everyone hope to see you again thank you so much bye bye